Hello everyone, and in this video, we're gonna be walking through how you can deploy a Flask web application to Google Cloud Platforms App Engine. So this is, for me, a great alternative to Heroku. I was hosting a website on Heroku's free tier, and I was very sad when there's no longer a free tier, but uh, if you move your service to Google App Engine, you are in for a surprise because they have a pretty generous always free tier, at least at this moment, where you get 28 instance hours per day uh, without anything going against your credits for running on specific instance types, their F series of instance types. So um, we're gonna get started into how to do this. I'm gonna provide all this code to you guys so you guys can fork it or clone it and do with it whatever you'd like, and we'll get started. So basically before you start deploying anything, um, just in terms of how to run this locally, uh, you're gonna run these commands, the first one of which is going to basically set up a little virtual environment locally uh, if you haven't already. You're gonna activate your virtual environment, which I've already done, so you know with these little uh, parentheses right there. And then we're going to install the requirements into our virtual environment for running our Flask app. I've already done that. And then finally, we're gonna run this command to actually start our Flask app. And so right now, my Flask app is running at uh, my uh, local host, port 5000. So um, it's got two routes, the home route and the stocks route, very simple, no CSS. And so we've confirmed that our Flask app is working the way we expect it to locally. Now for getting this onto uh, Google Cloud Platform and the App Engine, uh, we're gonna be running through these commands. So I'm going to press Control C to stop the server. And I'm going to uh, be making use of GCP's uh, CLI tool for Mac. Um, it's called Google Cloud SDK. I've already installed it using Homebrew. You guys can follow that in a separate guide. It does take a little bit of time. Um, so for the sake of brevity, we're just going to assume you've already have it installed. And um, I'm also going to be running this command gcloud init. And so you'll know if you've installed it correctly, assuming that uh, you've successfully uh, are getting some response when you type that in. I'm going to uh, click one here and we're gonna let this thing uh, authenticate me to my Google account. I'm gonna stay with the Google account that I have and um, I'm gonna make a new project with this so you guys can follow along and we're gonna make up some kind of project ID. Uh, in my case, I'll call this a Flask Demo 1 and we're gonna let it finish making that project in GCP. Okay, so now that we've done that, um, I'm going to also uh, set this to be the default project. So I'm going to uh, paste in this command and I'll just say flask demo one and run that command. So basically what we did is we just made it our new default project. We're telling Google's uh, CLI tool to use that um, and then what I'm gonna run is the following. So I'm just going to uh, run this command here and it'll, it'll tell us what we need to do to make it work. So we punch that in. Um, it's gonna ask us which region are we going to be deploying this to. Uh, in my case, I'm on the West Coast and I'd like to enable all the features I can. So I'm gonna select uh, 21 there, the US West 2. And so basically what it's doing right now is in the back end in Google, uh, it is making uh, the stuff that we need to run our service. So I'm just gonna hit yes on that. And now what it's doing is it's uploading all the files locally from our uh, project repo or project directory to Google App Engine. So we're just gonna give this thing a moment to finish this up. Alrighty, and so uh, we're getting this error message because we have not yet uh, created a billing account uh, or associated a billing method with this particular project in my GCP account. Um, and so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this link. I'll take you guys through uh, what we're gonna be seeing. And so basically um, what you're doing is you are going to be uh, also hosting the, the CI part of this pipeline with Google. Um, and so that's what the cloud build API is doing is it's going to be taking that Python and it's going to be building it and basically creating an artifact that can get uploaded to, uh, you know, Google's app engine so that they can run your Flask service. 
And so this code build API is what's doing that build part of this job. So we need to enable this. Um, and sometimes what you'll see is this message right here. So this is great that we're seeing it. Um, says that I need to enable billing because you are using Google's servers when you are building uh, this thing. So I'm gonna click on enable billing and I'm gonna have to tell it a billing account. I'm gonna be using my billing account and you'll have to add one to do this on your own. Um, and so I'm gonna try enabling this thing again. And so the important thing to note about the cloud build API is that basically when it's building your Flask service, you have 120 minutes or two hours each day of build time for free. And so um, if you are running tons of commits and doing tons of builds, uh, if you're going over two hours, then you're gonna need to start paying Google for renting the servers that are actually running the build stages of your pipeline that you're basically now going with them on. So the cool thing here is that like, if you're not super experienced with CI CD pipelines, you don't really need to know anything about it. You're just using what Google has provided you. And again, the goal here is to kind of minimize the amount of operational work you have to know or do. Um, it's more just, you know, you write your Flask app, you deploy it to GCP's app engine, and uh, that's it. So I'm gonna go back to here. Um, so now that we've enabled the Cloud Build API and we've associated a billing with our account, I'm going to try rerunning this deploy. And I'm just gonna hit yes again. And we're gonna let this thing uh, finish uploading it and try to start that service again. Alrighty, so now that uh, that's finished, um, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, just enter this command right here and it's gonna open up our default web browser and it's gonna take us to where our Flask page should be living. And there we are. So uh, just like that, we are now hosting uh, our Flask service using Google's App Engine. So we've had to do none of the work of spinning up an instance or writing some kind of CI or CD pipeline. It's basically just one command, pretty simple. And as long as you stay within those free tier limits, uh, you're good indefinitely. As long as you also make sure to check in with what Google says is considered free tier uh, for this stuff, you've now got a viable alternative to Heroku. Um, and so, uh, that's how it works. Um, I'm going to go back to my uh, my Google Cloud Management Console page here, and I'm going to uh, just type in App Engine. Yeah, and then we're going to check out our little service here. So you can see they give you a little link to it. Um, they also do provide you. Uh, this dashboard so you can see how much uh, your service is being used. So basically, you know, the key thing to make note of here is that you have limits on how much network uh, traffic is allowed on this thing, um, and, you know, how much time, uh, uh, it, you know, your instance is allowed to be online, what types of instances you're using. So as long as you are configuring and your site isn't getting too much traffic, you should be good keeping it all on the free tier. So um, the other thing I'm gonna make note of uh, to wrap up this project is what to do when you're done with everything. If you just wanted to delete a little uh, example that you made, you're just gonna paste in this. Um, so I'm gonna copy that, and then you're gonna paste in that project ID, which in my case was called Flask Demo 1. We're just put that in, we're gonna say yes, we're okay with that. And we're gonna give this thing a moment. So now it's basically taken off our uh, website so that you know, if we forget about this thing, we're not gonna start getting build for it later down the road. Um, and that's just good practice for cleanup. Um, and they stick it into this pending state. So I think, I'm not sure exactly how long, but basically, you know, eventually this site's gonna go down and you're not gonna get billed for it. Um, so just make sure you do that if you don't intend on making this like a true production app. Uh, and then the final thing I'm gonna make note of just from me playing around with this stuff is um, very important to note that um, when we ran that command, the uh, G Cloud deploy, you need to have this app.yaml file here. And you know Google makes it really simple. You just need this one line in here to say, you know what version of Python uh, have you built your Flask service for? it will look through and find your requirements.txt file. So if you're needing additional dependencies for your Flask app, um, you know, as long as you keep this very standard form with pip uh, installing all of your requirements like this, you're in good shape. You don't even need to reference it in that YAML file. And then um, finally, main.py needs to be called main.py. Uh, if you wanted to call it something else, 
Um, it's not, you're gonna have to, you know, modify some stuff in this YAML file, but, you know, for the sake of just getting a very simple working, you know, CICD pipeline together that deploys to a Google app engine, you don't have to think about instances or anything else like that. Honestly, this is probably the best, easiest way to get started for free. Um, so that's going to wrap things up for this video. Uh, I hope this is helpful stuff. Thank you all for watching. I'll provide a GitHub link so you guys can clone this and play with it and hope you all are doing well.